So it's just that Walmart today and found this on the shelf. It's uh, so no, it didn't even have a price. And the uh, scanner won't even scan it. It's the uh, Air Hogs RC Hypertrax. And it uh, ended up being $35. So there's what it looks like. They sell it in uh, green and red. It has a 2.4 gigahertz radio. And it requires uh, 8 AA batteries. It includes a pistol style transmitter. So that'll be interesting to see how that works out. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and put some batteries in it and test it out. There we go, just unbox the Air Hugs Hypertrax. Here's the controller for the Air Hugs Hypertrax. As you can see, it's a pistol style grip controller. You have your throttle here. So that's forward and back. And as you notice there, uh, that's full speed forward. That's full speed reverse. Reverse is quite a bit slower. One unique feature is that uh, right now, if I pull forward, um, this bigger wheel here uh, will always point towards the front. So as you can see, I'm pulling the trigger forward there. Now, when I flip it uh, upside down, it has a sensor in there, so it knows it's uh, it's actually right side up right now. The green is is the top. But anyways, if I pull the trigger forward again, it will still go forward. And the one thing I did notice is there is a uh, slight delay in that actually happening. Uh, for instance, I will go ahead and uh, flip it up over here. As you can see, I was always pulling forward there and it took a, a second or two for it to, to realize that it uh, was the opposite way. So turning is done by uh, either pulling, giving it some throttle and turning or simply uh, rolling the steering wheel 
to the left or right and without the throttle it will turn on a dime so as you can see there it's turning on a dime the farther you go the faster it'll go so if you want to do a circle you want to give it some throttle So that's how the controller works. Also here is the charge port. You simply unwind this and you can bring the cord out to charge your vehicle. And you can wind it back in when you're done. Uh, this here is the steering trim. If it's going to the left or right, you can adjust that. Your on off switch is right there. It takes uh, eight AA batteries uh, in this compartment here. Now here is the on-off switch, which also allows you to access the charge port. As you can see, these tracks do have sort of an independent suspension in them. Let's see if I can show that a little bit better here. Now these tracks do come off. I'm going to go ahead and peel one off here so you can see what it looks like. So the front wheel here is just free spinning. And in the back you have the drive wheel.
So I just wanted to show you guys the articulation of the Hypertrax. Not sure how well it's going to work here. But. It's basically just little tiny plastic springs inside here. And then the pivot point here, uh, just in front of the motors. So I put several p battery packs through the Airhawks Hypertrax, and uh, so far it's been a pretty awesome vehicle. I've had no uh, breakages or anything like that. I have did some slight jumps and lots of flips by smashing into walls and climbing up them at speed. Uh, I drove it down the steps slowly. Uh, most awesome thing about this vehicle is that it can drive either right side up or upside down. So it's pretty much impossible to get stuck unless you're like that, which is I haven't had happen, so that's unlikely. Uh, considering the price, it's only $35. I found it at Walmart on Friday. It was so new. Uh, it didn't even have a price on it, and the price checker uh, didn't even scan it. Uh, I was expecting it to be $50 or more, but uh, I was surprised when the cashier said it was only $35. Bucks. So that was uh, pretty great. The only downside is the controller takes eight double A's. Also, I noticed that the charge, retractable charge cord is rather short. It needs to be about a couple inches longer. Or it would be even better if they had some sort of uh, just docking station for the vehicle itself. Uh, but that's not the case. Also, I noticed the range was rather short. Uh, probably only gets about maybe 25 to 30 feet of range. Uh, which is very poor in my opinion, especially for something this fast. You can't really even drive it across the house without uh, having control issues. So that was a downside. Also, I wish the control was a little bit more proportional uh, than it actually is. It, you know, it says it is proportional, but um, it's really not <laughs> the greatest as far as that goes. Um, also, the charge time seemed to be okay as far as that goes. Maybe half an hour, I'm not sure. I didn't really time it. But the runtime itself was actually pretty long. I would say it's uh, over 10 minutes. So overall, I highly recommend this vehicle. It's very fast and uh, goes in some pretty cool places. I would run this outside, but uh, we have many inches of snow outside. So that's not going to happen anytime soon. Uh, if you watched uh, the video, you can actually see me uh, jump this. And it actually will drift around the corners uh, on a nice smooth surface, probably such as uh, polished concrete or uh, tile maybe. It also goes okay on carpet, just fine. So yeah, I highly recommend it for 35 bucks. The Hypertracks from Airhogs. Thanks for watching.